Hello and welcome, it's me, Marls44, and we're back with some more Let's Play Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. So, this time, you know, in the last part, we uh, brought Francesca, and, uh, which of who's it? Oh, here, it's that guy. Um, fatty, eaty guy. <laughs> um, we brought Francesca and Frankie back to the boss. And got our nice excess express ticket, and you know, help them get the ring back before that, obviously. Uh, and Francesca was BSing, and we, you know, climbed aboard the train because, uh, yeah, we can climb aboard a train. And you know, climbing aboard trains, well, who doesn't want to do that? I mean, the freaking trains, man. Sheldon loves trains. Oh, jeez, I just hope I don't run into him here. <sighs> Sheldon trains. <sighs> but anyways, I'm not alone. I got a guest. Uh, uh, I got a guest. Uh, Can you say your damn name, guest? Greetings. Hi, do you have Ninja Thunder? Oh god, that's cold. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? Eating my ice cream. Oh, but well, you didn't tell me you were eating ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> no you didn't. I, Hi, phone. Hi, phone. <laughs> Hi, cat. Hi, Carlos. How are you? How are you, kitty cat? I don't ice cream all over Wait, me. did I look in this room yet? Yes, I, I think. I don't know. No, I think this is my room, actually. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So all I know is we have to, like, explore the rooms or something to make everything activate. I don't know. I think you have to talk to everyone. That's the thing. To make, like, the shit start activating. Which is, you know, happens. Right. Let's talk to I you. Think. I'm just gonna talk to them because it just it just takes too long to talk to every single freaking person. Right, man? Yeah. And we gotta do the inspectigating. Did that make sense? Inspectigating? I don't even think that's a word. Inspectigating. Hey look, it's French French detective penguin. He's a Frenchy penguin. <laughs> oh how French. This um, dude right here, mouse guy, can't wait to do this chapter. All right, last things last. Talk to the bomb moms. I'll talk to the baby too. Yeah, I'm baby bomb mom. I'm Mrs. Bomb mom. And if you piss me off, I'm gonna blow my chunks all over you. Oh God. I didn't know she was trunks. I said chunks. What? I heard trunks. Yes, she has trunks. Oh, I think wait, we're supposed to talk wait, to this guy about the yum gooey thing. She's right. Trunks' mother now? No! She's not Bulma! <laughs> what? Alright, so... Let's go over here. What is this? This racket that's happening? <clears throat> yes! I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like gas to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us, yes, what to call it. Yes, the case of the pot of the super stews that vanished suddenly and myster mysteriously. What a friggin' name. <laughs> hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. What a mystery. A mystery you just said? And a... Uh, what ex exactly kind of dish is that? <laughs> Jacob, who do you want to voice? You. That doesn't work. I'm known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the, the risk of... In, in, what? I don't even know. And no, I'll voice little... myself. Could, what? I'll voice myself. No. Who, do you want to voice a character? I'm good. The central blue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens. <laughs> central blue. He's blue. He's a penguin. A blue penguin. Ha! I get it. I get it. <laughs> Leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you glutinous woman. Oh! What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me, sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. Oh wait, that's the penguin! That's totally the wrong voice! That's the penguin! Didn't even realize that was the penguin. 
Ahem, <laughs> very good. Now let us be serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? <laughs> oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hmm. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You sure are highly suspicious. I've just broken this case. The two culprits, I believe, is Zip Toad the Acta. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No. Wait, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up. You, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer? Geezer! I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but, well then, who did do it? Hmm. Hmm. This puzzle depends with every confounding step. Okay. Let's try talking about it. You, my whiskered friend, have been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect, indeed. Wait, what? It makes no sense! People, I have apprehended, apprehended the rogue. Yes, I have broken the case wide open. He has been sulking about this area the whole time, under our very nose. The part of the super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously bandit is you! Oh. <laughs> you are not the bandit, yes, you say? Blame mm, or just everyone. You would say that. Well, if you are not, in fact, the crook, then perhaps you would prove your innocence by searching for the real in perpetrator. Then we will know that is not you, fair? Okay. So, Inspector Zehoff, are you ready to do this? Uh -huh. Are you ready? No. Are you freaking ready to do this? Yes, I am. A crew. It's your Look, Marley. there are traces of something on the carpet. It looks like footprints. Well, this looks like a spilled stew on the carpet. Nasty, yo. I almost stepped in it. We can just follow the trail of the thief, don't you think, yo? And you know what? It might even be the nut who made the sticky, yummy threat. What makes me say that, yo? If you steal, you probably do other bad stuff, right? Just let you know, he didn't say yo. At either times you said it. I know that. Can you not break out of character? Okay, let's follow this mystery. And these spots of stuff. <gasps> Le gasp! Jehoff, Inspector Jehoff, do you see this? It stops here. And goes into the room here. The port. Oh, the fat guy. The fat tall. You did it. What? Why do the trail stop here? Let's talk to him. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want? Burp. Sorry about that. That was a poor burp. Give me that. <laughs> Sorry about that. No. What, what were you just saying? Apart from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame the chubby guy. Not nice! What? Drop stew on the floor outside? N no I wouldn't know anything about that. No! People spill stuff! And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. So, J Inspector J. Huff, where do you think we should look? Do you think it's hidden under the couch? Maybe we should check the... What? Maybe we should check the drawer. I don't think drawer. we should take the drawer. He said it wasn't in there. <laughs> maybe we should though. Because if he says it wasn't in there, maybe it is. But it, that means it wasn't. But it is. It's rather could suspicious be, that he's wasn't. Out Let's take the drawer and split the There are several government food ma magazines here. And one of them is an issue diverted to the food of the XS Express. There's a large photo of the chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. But. There's something under the magazines. A galley pot. We have found the crook, Inspector Rijehoff. Did you just burp? Did you just no. burp? No. Good. So, you're so in the mode of the stew that you want... I don't even know what that means, but you wanted to steal, to devour more. And you just stole the entire pot when the chef was shopping? Charlotte's answer. Y yes, that's right. I I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid! 
justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkept mm, facial hair. You can't uncap. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to color the ruffian. Now about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on the strain, the conductor con confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room 6 so that we may discuss this in private. Don't expect to lose your half. Looks like they'll be wrapped up in other cases. Yes. <laughs> well, like the first case. Let's go see if we can get some more cases of stew. Why stew? Cases of stew. I'm hungry after that case, you know? Are you hungry after that case? No. Oh. But I am. I mean, it was a pot of stew. Wouldn't that make you hungry? Uh -huh. Well, I'm always hungry. <laughs> ah ha ha, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky yummy melesecondent. <laughs> I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work, so this is decided then. I shall take you in as my new assistant. Me, Inspector Marley, and Inspector Jacob will be your new assistant. Oh. I'm Whoa. sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you to not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That moustache, that nose, oh, out too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? He's crazy. <laughs> no need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat, our main, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion that the family of bombs dare definitely suspect. Now, Luigi. We will reduce this case to a regulatory something and facts and deduce the truth. Let's go, Inspector Zehoff. And the okay. day turns <laughs> to evening. Let's go talk to them, the bomb people. Are you ready to talk to them? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should let little Bob, the advanced learner's classic series of bomb on bombery. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. That was three car words, not two. Bob is too small for such things. Go, Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him. Honestly. Pfft, I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Oh, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Is that what we have to do? Okay. If Here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Apple. Anything can start with an A. But... Apricot. Detective Jehoff, are you ready to figure it out? Ass. Wait, did you just say ass? <laughs> yes. That sounds fun. I'm actually curious to see if there's something... N no. <laughs> a. What, <gasps> what do you think it is? Oh, that's not the door. There's the door. I know what you want. What do you think it is, Detective Jehoff? A apricot. Gallipot. Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world. You have even brought my pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks to you from me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please take it. Ah. Why must I butcher this language so? So shameful. Please take it, I mean. You got a star piece. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Star piece. Even though I barely use them, star piece. <laughs> they get you badges and shit, don't they? 
I think so. Pretty sure they do. Um. And they get you like really good badges. Okay, so what am I supposed to find that like starts with an A? Apricot. Apple. Okay, dude, ah. we're on a train. And plus, Addiction. The, the detective voice is kind of hurting me now. Yeah. Um. Apple cider. Okay. Something that he wants. Think, think about it. He watched us as a champion. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen. You solved rather, though, a little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so regularly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well? Sure. Oh, absolutely lovely. Oh, yeah, this is when we have to go around just doing a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me, you bully brilliant man you? She's totally hitting on me. Yep. I'm not into the types like her though. So no. I don't accept. Zip toes. What is that little bub kid want? A present? Uh Well I'm sure it'd be stuck to have an autograph of mine, right guy? Oh man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Say it's for... Okay, that's not gonna peach. work. Um... Say it's for Peach. I swear we have to talk to the conductor. I feel like we do. Conductor? What's conductor? Running this train during the high point. Do it for me. So let's hear it. Huzzah. I, I, I know he gets he's I swear he signed something for us I don't know yeah you want an audit we have to get the autograph oh yeah so let's eat for peach okay let's talk to the fat dude sorry for causing all the commotion but man that's super scram diddly umptious I can't wait for dinner <laughs> dude you're ridiculous Y you know, this isn't easy. I think I have to go around talking to a bunch of people. I swear. Alright, let's talk to you. You still totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Really? She's hitting on Well, okay. So I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. Yeah, and they're like, all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something, please? Oh, that's funny. Napkins. Yes, do you want a napkin instead? I'll give you a napkin. <laughs> no. Alright, so... We gotta find the ring for the girl. The, the the fancy lady. We need to find... Um... Nothing in here. Let's talk to you, actually. I was really looking forward to popping that stew on my... ex account. Oh, well, I just ordered the... Next num GameCube controller because mine just fell. <laughs> I'll just order the next most expensive thing on dinner menu. Hmm. Oh, I just. Hmm. Nothing in here. I totally forget. Yup. So do I. I think we have to go talk to the detective, maybe. So we have like three different things. The gold ring, the earrings, and the autograph. The thing that young Master Bub wants most, well, let us do, shall we? Why is it running? He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. <laughs> because that, my friend, is what young children his age crave about all things. Um, okay. Oh, yes, I think we're supposed to talk to the penguin. And then go back to the little kid and talk to him. And he's gonna say, No, not a Game Boy Advance! Okay, here's his second hit. It's a certain person. Ah, uh, Tograph. Now you've got it, don't ya? Yeah, okay. Second hit. Now I think we go back to the penguin. Back to the penguin. I think. I so. think. Let's just try. The thing that young master wants most, well. Oh, no. <laughs> Still freaking Game Boy. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I gotta end the episode off. So, I'll end it off here. So, thank you guys for joining us in this part, and thank you, j -Huff Ninja Thunder, for co-commentating with me with that nice inspection. <laughs>
Not gonna say anything? There you go. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, and uh, remember to go check out his channel and, you know, go check him out. He's really cool. Got some nice videos that he should be uploading to. <laughs> um, and, um, what was I saying? Yeah, his link will be in the description below. So my Twitter and Skype. Remember to also like and comment on the video. And if you want to see more videos from me and enjoy this one, go ahead and subscribe. So, yeah. I guess that's about it. And I'll see you guys next time. Yoshi! Detective and Mario! Yeah. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!